Let's take a few minutes to explain what we do to help people have healthy brains and healthy lives. Today, too many adults and children are suffering from anxiety, ADHD, stress, depression, sleep disorders, migraines, traumatic brain injury, and other conditions. Sadly, for many people, the traditional health supports seem to procure little to no help. This is where the Montreal Neurotherapy Center takes over. What do these health issues have in common? They all originate from the brain. The brain is an organ that produces electricity. It works on an electrochemical basis. When it misfires, the patient may develop emotional, social, physical, and behavioral negative reactions. The problem is, how come medical specialists most of the time never look at the organ they treat? Cardiologists do, neurologists do, orthopedic doctors do, gastroenterologists do. It is no surprise that current medications improve very few people. The mental health field is not healthy. The director of the National Institute of Mental Health of the USA recently said that many of the treatments in psychiatry are no better than 50 years ago. What happens at the doctor's office? If you say that you are anxious, you usually are prescribed an anti-anxiety medication. We know that you find anxiety or depression in many conditions, ADD, bipolar disorder, schizophrenia, and more. If you tell your doctor that you have attentional problems, you might end up with a diagnosis called ADD or ADHD and be offered medications such as Ritalin, Concerta, or Adderall. Then you hope they will work for you. Finding the right medication for an individual patient suffering from mental health issues is one of the biggest challenges facing medical professionals. Over 130 psychotropic medications are currently prescribed through trial and error, and it is difficult for physicians to know which regimen is best. Giving a diagnosis on medication response is not helping patients, and side effects can be overwhelming. Error prescribing can leave you frustrated and ill. Sadly, the traditional approach missed evaluating the main neurological aspects of your problem and will not consider and evaluate the psychological and physiological dimensions surrounding your personal case. Traditional doctors base their diagnosis on a behavioral predetermined checklist. Is there a better way? Yes, there is. First, Neurotherapy Montreal is using a full battery of examinations and testing based on the latest scientific evidence-based diagnostics to identify your specific functional or cognitive impairment. Second, and what makes the center so successful, is that we build a complete social, physical, and neurological profile around your specific problem and create a multifaceted, personalized treatment approach. Third, our team of highly skilled multidisciplinary specialists will put together all their experience and knowledge to put you on the road to recovery. We start with a traditional physical analysis. Then you will do neuropsychological testing to assess your intellectual and cognitive functions. Brain mapping and physiological data will be collected. Also, we perform a complete psychosocial history and a thorough psychological assessment. Our skilled team members will compile, look at and analyze all the information and present you with a totally individualized treatment program. Everyone with depression, anxiety, or ADHD does not have the same brain pattern. Some people have low activity in the brain. Others have high activity. Some people may have had a concussion in the past. A mental health condition may have many different causes. Brain imaging is one of the modern tools that helps us pinpoint the problems. That's not all. We will use many other advanced testing techniques like QEEG, that measure the electrical activity in your brain in real time. This non-invasive, painless technique is an invaluable tool for both diagnosis of abnormal patterns, but also to train the brain to overcome them. QEEG can even indicate the statistical likelihood of your responsiveness to certain central nervous medications. This is possible today. Then our clinical coordinator will meet you with family members of your choice to explain and discuss our plan. We will offer you leading neuromodulation technologies in conjunction with existing rehabilitation or recovery training procedures. If you are dealing with anxiety, ADHD, chronic stress, sleep disorders, or migraines, we may suggest neurofeedback. 
Biofeedback and neurofeedback use the physiological activity to train your brain to function better. This technology enables you and us to literally see what the body is doing in real time. It's like having a mirror in which we can see the brain signals and physiological reactions. Using positive reinforcement and repetition make your brain learn how to work optimally. Over time, that information creates new pathways in the brain. It takes from 20 to 30 sessions for a treatment. It's based on the concept of neuroplasticity. What's involved in the training? Doing neurofeedback is similar to playing a video game. Kids love it. You're moving the game forward with your mind instead of a joystick. Your brain power activity adopts new, healthier brain patterns. You will then ask, why hasn't my doctor told me about neurofeedback? The answer is that he might not have heard about neurofeedback because it's a non-drug treatment. In North America, our health culture is still centered on drugs. Proven alternative approaches, even though they are sometimes even more effective, are often overlooked in favor of those offered by pharmaceutical companies with huge promotional budget. Non-invasive neuromodulation is another technology we use at the MNC. Neuromodulation acts directly upon nerves. It is the alteration, or modulation, of nerve activity by delivering slight electrical or pharmaceutical agents directly to a target area. Neuromodulation devices can stimulate a response where there was previously none. One of them is called RTMS. It stands for Transcranial Magnetic Stimulation. It's FDA-approved treatment for depression and Health Canada approved and covered by RAMQ for depression. RTMS is a simple outpatient non-invasive procedure that doesn't involve any anesthesia. You can drive yourselves to our clinic, receive treatment, and go back to your daily routine. Now let's look at how treatment works in RTMS. RTMS is a non-invasive painless procedure in which cerebral electrical activity is influenced by a pulsed magnetic field. A figure eight shaped magnetic coil is placed over the head to deliver brief microcurrent pulses. This coil is encased in plastic and is held close to the scalp so that the magnetic field can be focused onto targeted areas of the cortex or surface of the brain. It is termed repetitive TMS or RTMS because the magnetic stimulation is delivered at regular intervals. By monitoring and modifying the parameters of the delivery, we can influence the brain electrical activity towards an intended ultimate goal. This ability is a valuable therapeutic tool. It permits to tailor fit an RTMS treatment in response to each patient's specific demands. Recent scientific evidence has shown that RTMS can strengthen connections between brain regions. It's also being used to successfully treat issues like anxiety, PTSD, and OCD, and can be beneficial with individuals dealing with substance abuse disorders. The most common side effect is a slight temporary headache during the initial sessions in a small percentage of patients. For anyone who has not benefited enough from antidepressant medications, for anyone who has struggled with many side effects of psychiatric medications, RTMS could be a great option. What else do we do? Some neurological conditions like traumatic brain injury, multiple sclerosis, or post-stroke need physical rehab. Neurotherapy Montreal physiotherapists will prepare specific treatment plans and goals specific to your needs and current level of ability. Sessions are generally 90 minutes. The goal of physiotherapy treatments is to restore, maintain, and maximize physical strength. Our personalized intensive exercise-based therapy focuses also on the principles of neural recovery using neuroplasticity. A better body in a better mind. Our physiotherapists use various techniques and interventions including the Bobath approach. Bobath focuses on balance, strength, flexibility, and movement patterns. In some cases, physio may be combined with neuromodulation, cognitive training, or neurofeedback. Neurological conditions such as TBI, post-stroke, and vestibular disorders may also present hearing problems like tinnitus or speech problems. 
Auditory neuropathy is a hearing problem that is caused by an abnormality in the transmission of nerve impulses traveling from the inner ear to the brain. Symptoms vary from one individual to the next, but can include sounds tend to fade in and out. Understanding spoken words, speech perception may be difficult. Hearing may be normal, but with poor speech perception. Speech perception may worsen in noisy environments. An abnormal hearing mechanism can have important social consequences for adults and can stay undiscovered in young children. Luckily, at the center, the discovery and treatments of tinnitus and all other types of hearing problems are one of our greatest strengths. Numerous factors may be responsible for hearing loss. Damaged hair cells within the inner ear. Damage or malfunction of the connections between the hair cells and the cochlear nerve or the cochlear nerve itself. Also, the combination of the cochlear and vestibular nerves, sometimes named the eighth cranial nerve, can be the source of the problems. In some patients, damage to auditory pathways in the brainstem is the cause. The center can provide you with a complete hearing assessment and all specialized testing for adults and children. Our ear specialists will tailor a rehabilitation, education, and counseling support plan for you. Some of our services are Pure Tone Baseline Testing Counseling regarding amplification options and communication strategy Referrals to medical specialists when required, including referrals for cochlear implants and bone-anchored hearing aids Multi-frequency tympanometry Auditory process evaluations for school-age children Psychoeducational assessment required Auditory brainstem response testing Tinnitus evaluations After a stroke, it is very common to have communication problems. This condition, known as aphasia, can affect your ability to find the right words, to understand what others are saying and or reading and writing. Other disorders can appear following a stroke or other brain injury. They include aphasia, apraxia of speech, and oral apraxia. At times, it may be difficult to identify which of these conditions a survivor is dealing with. Aphasia is impairment in the ability to use or comprehend spoken words. Apraxia of speech, or verbal apraxia, is a difficulty in initiating and executing voluntary movement patterns necessary to produce speech when there is no paralysis or weakness of speech muscles. Researchers found stroke survivors who had difficulty speaking or understanding speech showed significant improvement in language and communication skills after a short term of intensive speech therapy. We can help you remediate from a language, articulation, voice or fluency impairment which can have a lifelong social, academic and vocational impact. We invite you to take the first step toward wellness. The essence of the Montreal Neurotherapy Centre is your recovery. Our team of renowned specialists and our vast experience in the latest scientific discoveries and proven therapies will guide you on a path to regain control of your life. Thank you for listening to me. Hopefully this video shows you the possibility and strengths of the Montreal Neurotherapy Centre. You can call us for a free phone consultation or schedule an assessment. If you prefer, you can use our web contact form. We will be pleased to hear from you.